Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up the Think or Swim RTD or real-time data in Excel. I think not many people are aware that you can easily set up your Excel spreadsheet to receive live prices and various information of not just stocks alone, but also options as well. This is definitely very useful if you use Excel to keep track of your stocks and options portfolio. During trading hours, when you open your Excel spreadsheet, the prices you see will be live prices and will update continuously as the market changes, like how you see in my current spreadsheet. If you have not signed up for a Thinkorswim account, I would definitely recommend for you to do so because it is completely free to sign up. Feel free to watch my earlier video on how to get started with the Thinkorswim platform. You should see a link now at the top right hand corner of this video and I have also left a link down in the description below. So let's get started. In order for Think or Swim RTD to pull live prices into Excel, you need to have the Think or Swim platform open and running. Once it's open, proceed to run Excel. When you're trying to set up RTD in Excel for the first time, you will need to run Excel as an administrator. This step is very important, especially for those using the newer versions of Excel from 2016 onwards. If you don't run Excel as an administrator when you're setting up RTD for the first time, it will not be set up correctly and you will not be able to pull any live prices subsequently. You will only need to run Excel as the administrator when you're setting up RTD for the first time. Once it is set up correctly, the next time round, you can just run Excel normally. So I'll click on Run as Administrator, open the blank workbook, click on File, Options, Add-ins, select Com Add-ins, click on Add, and you need to look for this file named rtdservice.dll that is stored under the Think of Swim program files. It is usually stored under this file path, under C drive, users, your username, app data, local, Think of Swim, and in the folder lib64. Do note that this app data folder over here is usually a hidden folder and you will need to show hidden folders in the Windows Explorer to be able to find this app folder. If you really can't find this file, just do a search for the rtdservice.dll file location in your Windows Explorer. Once you have found the file, click on it and press OK. And you're done. To test and see whether the Think or Swim RTD is working, let's just enter an example. So let's say I want to get the last done price of Microsoft. I just need to input this formula. There are four inputs that you need to include in the formula. The first input field is a generic input called tos.rtd. The second field is left blank. The third input is the name of the data field. In this case, I want the last done. So the name of the data field is called last. In the next section of this video, I will share with you the entire list of data fields you can extract. For example, live bid ask prices, volumes, and even the different Greek values like delta and gamma for your option chains. And the last input in the formula is the name of the ticker. One important thing to note is that the third and fourth fields need to be all in capital letters for this to work. And when you're done, press enter. If RTD is set up correctly, you should see the last time prices change accordingly. I've created a simple spreadsheet template of the different fields you can extract using the Think or Swim RTD. I have left a link down in the description below, so if you're interested, you can always download this template for free. For information on share prices, it is pretty straightforward. Just enter the ticker symbol of the underlying company together with the name of the data field using the formula shown here. As mentioned earlier, the third and fourth inputs need to be in capital letters for the formula to work. For options, it is slightly different. To get the ticker symbol of a particular option chain, you will need to head to your Think or Swim platform. Under the Trade tab, let's say I'm interested in looking at Microsoft. I will just enter MSFT over here. Scroll down to the option chain. So let's say I have an open position on one of the calls 
and I want to check the information of this option position in my spreadsheet. Let's say it's the call on the 19th of March at the $250 strike price. I just need to right click anywhere on the $250 call and select copy on this .msft210319 C250. So this is actually the ticker symbol of this particular call strike option. The naming of the option is actually just the ticker symbol of the underlying company, in this case it's MSFT, followed by the expiry date of the option in year year, month month, date date, followed by C or P to indicate call or put, and finally the strike price of $250. So just click copy, go back to Excel and paste it in this cell over here. And you should see the live grid information of this particular option change during market hours. So it is really that straightforward. I have also collected an entire list of data fields you can use. Just head over to the list tab. Column A is the list of all the different data fields that is available from Thinkorswim RTD. Some of the data fields work only for shares, some work only for options, some work for both. So I've included two ticker symbols over here. Column B is the underlying ticker from Microsoft, MSFT. And column C is just one of the option calls for Microsoft. You can open this spreadsheet during market hours to see which data field works for which type of asset class and use them accordingly. Remember, the name of the data field and the name of the ticker symbol needs to be in capital letters when using the RTD formula. And that's it. I use this on a daily basis to keep track of my open positions and also companies that I'm interested to buy. I hope you have found this useful. Once again, I've included the link down in the description below. So if you're interested, you can always download this template for free. Feel free to comment down below if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.